Good morning, y'all. I had to make this video real quick this morning, okay? I ain't coming live because I've seen, um, you know, Mr. Loretta was live, and I guess I think some other people going live, so I ain't gonna go live this morning anyway. And I said I probably wasn't gonna be on here um, for a couple of days, but listen, um, and I don't know because I might end up coming on here, I don't know, but listen, first, I'm going to say thank God that we woke up to see another wonderful, blessed day, okay. First, I'm going to thank God for that. Second of all, I don't know how many of y'all watched Peach Mama um, video this morning, but it was really touching to me this morning. Um, I, I really feel bad for her, but I also know that, as she said, it's a storm that she got to go through. And y'all know we all have to go through storms storm sometimes. And there's always sun after the storm. We already know that. And, and each and every last one of us have had a storm and probably got more to go. You know what I'm saying? That's just how life happens. But you know that God still is in the mix of whatever storm that you're going through. Just know that. But what I'm finna say is, okay, so she says she went over there to see Peach yesterday to put her arms around her daughter. Yes, I know her and Peach done been through a lot. Do I believe what Peach is saying? As I said before, Yes, I believe a lot of stuff that Peach is saying. But I also know that everybody have a past. Ain't no child and no parent is perfect. So, and I know her is hurt. I believe Peach, I know Peach is hurting. She, she cry out for help every day on the internet. We all know that she's hurting. But I also know her mama's hurting as well. I'm sure her mama know what happened in the past. Peach know what happens in the past. So I'm sure her mama probably feels some type of way. But at the end of the day, I hope whatever this is that they're going through, I hate that it came to the internet, but that's where it's at right now. I hope that this brings them closer together. I feel that her and her mother need to have a heart-to-heart, -heart, cry, cry together, pray together, help. You see what I'm saying? And as I told Peach on her Facebook page, sometimes you have to fast and pray for God to move in certain situations. Okay? Fasting and praying break a lot of generational curses and break a lot of things so i feel that peach need to fast and pray and that's my opinion to get the healing that she need yes yeah, she can go to a therapist but to me y'all know how i feel about therapists i feel that therapists can't give me what god can give me therapists cannot give me what god can give me they can't heal me the way god can heal me i believe that she really need to just seek god and just really, you know, and I don't know what she's doing. She might be doing that. I don't know what she's doing. But I'm just saying, if she's not, I think that she probably should just try fasting and praying. Because it break a lot of bondages. It break a lot of family curses. It break a lot of stuff that's been going on. It just break a lot of stuff. It help you heal. You know, it, it help you to forgive when it's hard to, for you to forgive. Because you know that's your parent and because you know it's your mama, it's not always easy to forgive. It's not always easy to forgive. You have to really seek God. You have to really pray that God give you the heart and the you know the mindset to forgive. You and forgiveness is in your heart. So you have to just pray for that. Sometimes with certain situations. Okay? And we all know that. But I still say listen to her video um or what she's saying. If y'all have not heard her video this morning, I did share it on my page. If you have not heard it this morning, but okay, so I, I said that or whatever. Um, I'm not gonna be on Peach to your mama too long because I still feel like that's a sticky situation. That's why I have not said nothing too much about it. The only thing I have said is I believe Peach. I, her mama have not came out here and bashed her. I have not seen that yet, but that's a mother. See, one thing about a mother, you people may mothers listen here mom parents who don't come with instructions and stuff you know things happen and i'm not taking up for her mama because some stuff that you just some of the stuff that peach say she did it, it, it shouldn't have been done but that's the god is between her god and peach that he'll deal with them on that but i know that when you love your child you love your child that lady love her child she may have made mistakes that she should not have ever made in life we have all have made mistakes that we should not have ever made in life. My mistake might not be your mistake, and yours might not be mine. But we all done done stuff that we just shouldn't have did. It just wasn't, we just shouldn't have did, period, point blank. You know, because we never think about how you hurting the others around you. 
Okay, that's what, that's what you don't think of. But you know, when you're young and you're growing up and you're doing dumb stuff, I suppose, or whatever, you know, and, and it's something that we just shouldn't have did. And something that we shouldn't have never said, but we did. Okay, life happens. That's life. We learn from our mistakes. But a mother's love never changes. 90, I'm going to say 98% of the time. Because some, some mothers just some mean, 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 hateful mamas. Period, point blank. Some of them just like that. Um, but a lot of times, you know, we just love our children, period. We just we just love our children. I love my children. I love every last one of them. Okay? Every last one of them. Um, you know, my children don't got in trouble. They don't did something they had no business doing. But I'm going to love my children regardless. You know, they're my children. That's what I laid up ahead. You know, and I and I'm, I have not been the best person in the world either. I made mistakes as a parent. I'm a, I'm I was a young parent, and you growing up and you do young dumb stuff. So of course we all make mistakes. I ain't finna sit here and say I was a perfect parent, as I always told you. I was never. I'm not a perfect person. Period. And because and a lot of people have never. You know, they love to talk about God. They love to talk about way people. Um, you know, because people love God because I love them. But they because you don't. You ain't nobody gonna walk a straight and narrow line. And God has said nobody gonna be perfect. Everybody is a work in progress. I don't know nothing. Listen here, them pastors can get up there and pray. They can get up there and preach. They can do whatever. We don't know what the pastors do when they leave leave off, off that pulpit. We don't know what they got going on, sugar. Everybody have flowers, but that does not mean that you don't love God. That does not mean that you don't fear God. You see what I'm saying? That that, that don't mean that you're not God. From that, that don't mean you don't love God. Period. Point blank. Okay, but some things that people do it make you question, like. Are you really? You know what? But we know that's that's on them between them and God. I'm gonna leave that right there where it's at too. But just because you know stuff happens in life and you don't make always the the right decisions and stuff like that does not mean that you don't love God. Okay, does not mean that you ain't walking that walk. That walk that that walk ain't always a straight line. You gon' you gon' it's gon' it's gon' get a little it's gonna get a little wavy. Okay, so at the end of the day, but that's the devil. But that's also the devil to try to come in. Y'all gotta understand the enemy is still lurking. Why you when he gonna hit you harder, he gonna come at you harder because you're trying to do the right thing. So of course he's gonna test you. Of course he's gonna come at you. He don't want you he don't want you to keep going. He don't want you to keep going. He wants you to mess up. That's about that's a battle itself that you gotta fight. Doing the right thing and living right by God is a whole battle of its own. Okay? On on top of life itself. Okay? So just y'all these sometimes you gotta just look past the people, especially when the devil have so much to say. You know, the devil don't care who he use. And some people got the devil rooting and grounding them. It's gonna take fasting and praying for them too. And with that being said, Miss 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 Thing over there. Miss Miss Ross. That that whole little thing you call yourself doing over there, y'all call yourself praying, praying on Rita downfall. And it's not to take up for Rita or nothing else. Rita can stand her own ground as we all can see. But we just I'ma call a thing a thing. I'ma call it what it is, is what it is, and, and, and whatever. But y'all need that was you. I'm gonna say you because that's your panel. You sit over there and, and, and pray on somebody else's downfall. Ain't no way in the world. I'm, listen, when you pray on somebody else's downfall, you might as well be praying for your own downfall. Period point blank. It just, you just seen real childish. Y'all seen, you, you, it was just a childish thing that you and your daughter had going on over there. That was so childish. That jump was not cute. It showed that you're so immature to be your age. But you should not be around here praying about this downfall. It just don't look good. It just sad because then for one, you're going to, like I say, you might as well be praying on your own downfall over there. Ain't nowhere in the world that I'm praying on somebody downfall. Ain't not one time ever I came out came out here and prayed on nobody downfall. Ain't gonna do it. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do over on your platform or what you say about me or whatever. I can care less. But I ain't gonna pray no downfall. But what I have said is that I hope that that channel, I hope they herpes snap that, that that Satan circle away though. Because you're using it for bad things. Y'all that thing is not used for good stuff. It's not y'all around the bashing people. You, you're talking about people. You, you you it's just sad. It's just a whole sad little thing y'all got going on over there. But you know what? God gonna deal with you according on that. I ain't got even. I ain't got. I ain't got to even say that I want. I ain't got to even say that I want to come down. I ain't got to say all that. You know what? To destroy your life from from. Now listen here. God has given you a map. Listen, do y'all hear this? I'm going I tell you no lie. And his word is designed to reveal to you the pitfalls, so that you can make the journey. When you think about the map, 
will affect how well you do on the journey. You might decide to ball it up and put it in your pocket, ignore that it's there. Or you might decide to look at it but not pay attention to it. Yeah, I don't know who this message is for. You might decide a weekly visit to it is once. But I'm going to let y'all hear I'll some of it because I don't know who this message is for. The rest of the week on my own. Or you can decide that this map is absolutely essential. Because I want to complete this journey and I don't want to be killed by what's on the road undetected. Now, I understand that all of us have faced consequences at some level. That there would be hardly a person in here who hasn't made a decision that turned out to be unwise that you have paid for or are still paying for. I've had more than one inquiry tell me what to do. Because I'm bleeding with the consequences of whatever the decision was. Now, I'm going to leave that right there because I don't know where he's going with that, but now I don't really keep, want to keep that in my video. Y'all, I say you no know, lie, honest to God. I'm laying here talking. You see you see him in my live. I'm not my live, but my video. I'm recording my video. That just came on out of nowhere on my other phone. Okay? I had not touched the phone. I had not, I honest to God, I had not even started the phone. So, I don't know who that message is for. But it's for some of it. He might be talking to all of us. I don't know. But I'm just saying, I'm, I'm going to leave that on there. Though. I just left that there because it came up. And I couldn't even close right out up real quick. Because my phone was on a lock screen. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't even know why it came up just then. But anyway, that was a message. God had something to say. I'm going to leave it right here. But all I know is you ought to be ashamed of yourself to be old as you will doing some mess like that. I ain't going to keep on harboring on that either because that's between you and God as well. But I am going to say you shouldn't pray on nobody else's downfall because I'm telling you, you ain't doing nothing but praying on your own. That's it, and that's all. I ain't got nothing else to say. But anyway, y'all, I just had to come on here and make this little video this morning. I did not come live, as I said, because I know other people going live this morning. And I am finna get up and get my day started because I'm sitting in my bed. That's why I'm not on camera, okay? Because I'm sitting in my bed, child. I'm sitting in my bed. And so happened the light came on on the phone when I went um, to press the record button, and that's it, that's it, and that's all. But y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. Have a peaceful day on purpose if you can and protect it. Make sure you protect your peace on purpose. Because I'm telling you right now, the enemy is busy and he is out there lurking and he looking for somebody to devour. I'm telling you right now. So be safe, y'all. Have a blessed day.